Good afternoon, it's Tuesday the 23rd of March, back in the reading up with uh, another parcel um, and of course a cup of tea. To day slightly overcast, slightly chilly but still good enough weather to come out to the nook and open up another parcel. So let's get to it, this is another one from drivethroughrpg.com. Um, Oh, enough. And inside we have this. Uh, this is um, Wampus Country Guide, sorry, Country Travel Guide 1 Lumberlands. It's by E. Jensen and it's from Lost Pages who publish a wide number of um, titles for the old score renaissance. Uh, on the retro clone of your choice. Um, one of the very interesting ones is Genial Jack about uh, a city in a giant sperm well or god well known as Genial Jack. But uh, this is Lumberlands and if you can see essentially by the Czech pattern it's inspired really sort of um, by uh, northern climes so we're talking um, uh, Scotland or Canada somewhere like that. Um, so North America or even Twin Peaks territory uh, even um, and that's indicated basically by essentially where you've got like the round the the, the, um, the image through uh, almost like a television screen so make your name with a swing of an axe welcome to the lumberlands where sasquatches squirrels and lumberjacks strive to control a vast and ancient forest delve into the weird magic odd residents and creepy critters who call the lumberlands of their home it's time for maple flavoured fantasy adventure, so Canada of course. Um, Lumberlands is a system agnostic travel, agnostic travel guide detailing a self-contained region. You can drop into any fantasy campaign when you're in the mood for squirrels, flannel and a little comedy. So uh, yeah, so um, squirrels, uh, squirrels armed for um, Susquatch I suppose, uh, sword and shield uh, and for travel. But, uh, and um, this essentially, um, this book describes the Lumberlands, um, a micro setting that can be set into a campaign by dropping it into any huge woodlands area or placing it conveniently at the northwestern corner of your rapidly developing campaign map. Or perhaps you're running the sort of game where the Lumberlands can be its own pocket dimension or other nonsense. Whatever works. Um, it's been crafted with the Wampus Country setting in mind, Tall Tales on the Fantasy Frontier. Actual reference to that setting are minimal, beyond the base assumption that talking animals are not particularly strange. Um, so if you have a setting with um, anthropomorphic or talking animals, then this will fit. Um, straight in. So we get into um, why go to the Lumberlands and things to do in Lumberlands, so lead expeditions into the dangerous parts of the forest, hunt tall tail weird beasties that harry the logging camps, search for rare plants that for use in magical dew drawers, quest for the legendary squirrel city built around an ancient library and more. And here we have a lumberjack going after Sasquatch. And we have discussion of lumber gills and, uh, and lumberjacks. Um, and the Red Bear Lumber Company and independent lumber gangs um, and uh, essentially getting at some of their uh, basic personality traits, their loyal to their friends, their lumber gang and their company if they have one, mess with one and you've messed with all their pals and it does this and they're like plain dealing and proud and industrious and so on. Uh, before we go on to types we have um, essentially different types of lumber characters. So lumber fighters, fighters Lumber wizards, uh, lumber clerics, and lumber thieves. And there are a discussion of petty gods of the Lumberlands like Timerton and the Beaver Cult. Uh, no sniggering at the back there. Uh, um, equipment of the adventuring lumberjack, the lack of flannel, axes of all sorts, climbing equipment, and so on. Um, and rules for customising it. So. Um, so, so weapons, tools, even the camping gear with assorted, assorted um, additive functions. And there's a list from which you can roll a D100. So um, on a 1, acts as a spirit level, um, 
uh, 13, 8 cup, so, um, soft boiled please. Um, uh, 94 has um, a spring loaded knife launcher, 93 back built in wax embosser, and so on. But, um, and uh, the gunky, um, unsung hero of the Lumberlands. But, uh, and essentially, that's your beast of burden. And we get into t um, basically a location, squeamish, a nice clean company town. Uh, I suppose a little bit like uh, is it Snowmish in Canada? Um, you'll forgive me if I get that wrong. I do apologise um, for anyone in Canada watching this unboxing. Um, so we'd get a description of that. We go on to Sasquatches. Uh, and, uh, um, and uh, so this discusses, you know, basically where the Sas Sas Sasquatches come from. So Sasquatch Sasquatches from space and different casts like Work Sasquatch, War Sasquatch, Brown Sasquatch, uh, Cover Mother and Half Sasquatch and Special Subsquatch Superpowers. Put the table there. Uh, and a Bordekin um, description of the Squirrel City. Um, but, uh, Uh, and so on, um, and a strange area called Porterland, and a lot of woad oxen in there. I don't know what they are. Um, night, something called night cows. Um, but, uh, and a table of basically encounters in Lumberland. So uh, a table of um, dangerous critters, deadly plants, um, natural wonders, fellow travellers, uh, um, lumberjacks. Sasquatches, things of nightmare, uh, and portal phenomena. So you need a D30 for all of that. So essentially, what you've got uh, here we go. Here's the deadly plant section, and you're just rolling the number across the top there. Flip through the pages, and then you get all the way through to your uh, your D20 and um, portal land phenomena. Um, discussion of lumberland familiars, uh, like the enchanted salmon of wisdom. Um, Merlin as a hawk, uh, or, or the Martin, mighty banana slug, and so on. Untamable shrew, disturbed woodpecker, uh, lovelorn musk rat, and so on. Um, and affordable hench, uh, henchables, um, hirelings available in um, at, uh, in squeamish. So that's um, lumber uh, lumberlands, a. Um, basically a working forest setting um, up north um, or into, uh, in the far northwest for your fantasy campaign. So yeah, published by Lost Pages, this is going to be interesting to all of you, quite entertaining I think. Um, uh, not entirely um, serious, um, just through leafing through, uh, through, through it, um, but yeah, probably easily added to, to many fantasy campaigns. So, um, thank you once again for watching uh, yet another unboxing in the nook. If you've enjoyed this, please do click the like button down below. And uh, if you've got something to say or some feedback, please uh, take the time to add a comment as well. I do read them uh, and respond when I can. Um, and if you want to see yet more of these unboxings uh, pop, in your, pop up in your feed then please click the subscribe button. In the meantime thank you very much for watching and we'll be back very soon with another unboxing in the nook. Bye for now!